Hello and welcome to my take on the Miscraft Nexus idea, um, making it so it's one touch from the overworld to any destination you want to go to. So let's uh, let's go to destination two. And here we are in the end. And here we are at destination two. So it's um, probably not as quick as the uh, teleporter system that you guys may have seen in my previous videos using uh, the industrial craft teleporters. But um, yeah, it works. I've left this long enough. Yep, here we go. So <laughs> basically the idea is you kind of fall through those portals in the end to get whatever destination, or to get to whichever destination you want to go to. Uh, at the moment it's just numbers instead of actual um names of destinations uh i could probably change that and probably will eventually but for the purposes of this video numbers work just fine uh so let's get back to well actually we'll go back to destination two so i can oh actually destination one would have been better um yep yeah. um yeah so it's not the quickest process but sure beats i mean this is about a thousand blocks from where i just was it's uh, definitely faster so this is the bare bones of the setup here in my um I, I hollowed out a volcano uh is pretty huge it's pretty huge i haven't done much work on it yet i pretty much just cleared out the space um anyway we're not here to see my volcano enough of that basically all it is is a monitor a computer with a modem and i am um, a wireless retha turtle so that's um capital i capital e t h e r so i don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that but i'm gonna call it retha um so basically what happens is um this you might recognize that basically has pulled the display code straight out of my teleporter system um it works basically the same uh and then this computer all it pretty much does is transmit the level to this guy um this guy as soon as he gets a message from this computer is gonna pop uh, this book he has in his inventory straight into the uh, recept uh yeah the receptacle is that the word i'm looking for um for yeah this uh miscraft portal and then he's going to transmit, and I might actually just show you a bit of the code. Um, he's going to transmit, so this is here, this is what the display is, the display computer. Um, basically, here we go though. So it's just, um, if uh, he gets a red net message from the display, um, if X, which is the ID of the display, uh, oh, if, yeah, if the ID is display, then... Uh, I should really remove that because it was only for debugging purposes. Turtle.drop is where he drops the book into a receptacle. Then um, if Y is equal to 1, so he's going to get 1, 2, or 3 from the, you know, from the touchscreen computer. Um, so if he gets 1, then it's frequency uh, 4242. If it's uh, 2, it's 4243. If it's 343, uh, 4244. Um, I had tried using... Uh, this is just a system I ended up going with. It's probably not the most efficient piece of coding, but you know what? It works. I don't care. Um, and then, um, oh, that's then. Yeah, then he'll take the book out. What? Wait a second and take the book out. That's easy. Um, so let's reboot him. I'll just give him the rain startup command again. Um, yeah, the, this script is really just basic monitor stuff. You've seen it all before in my videos. So go back to, I don't know. Uh, something involving a touch screen there's a few projects like that on the channel um okay let's just pop back to one um don't get much of a chance to see the end nexus um as you're going through so this block i don't think i think we're gonna get the server admin to remove that block it seems to be stuck <laughs> um okay here we go so this is the set the nexus in the end now um it's so basically it's a portal to each destination now i know some of you would be saying well that's pretty stupid surely you could program one um one turtle to just have three books and place a correct book when it gets the correct frequency and i would tell you you are right viewer but um i tried to do that and every time i have four loop with the computer just checking through each of the frequencies and um every time it just uh it, like failed basically uh, no it didn't fail it, basically it would work fine for the first one you sent then after that 
the turtle would think that um, every frequency was on all the time. Even though it wasn't, like I checked with a wireless redstone receiver, the frequency definitely wasn't on. It, it, it thought every possible frequency was on. It's had to be a bug, which I have reported. Um, so hopefully in future versions of this, I can get to being just the one portal with a turtle placing. Uh, but yeah, it just, it was not working for me, uh, at all, unfortunately. So basically now I've had to go with three turtles, that one listening for a frequency, that one listening for, oh, sorry, there's one, eh. Listening for a free, that's 4242, uh, 4243 uh, is that guy, and 4244 is that guy. And they'll just activate the portal, yeah, once you get through, which will then send you to your destination. So that's uh, level one up the top, uh, oh, sorry, destination one, destination two, destination three. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much, um, that's pretty much it. You spawn at the very top of those rings, you know. You pretty much spawn inside of that top portal, that's why that one's pretty instantaneous whenever you want to come here. Um, so if we just put in a destination here, you can also see that's how this is working here, just using pistons to, uh, Drop the floor, activate the portal, and then come on back up. Um, sweet. Well, guys, I believe that's everything. So, um, yeah, post in the comments if you have any questions. Feel free to like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And, um, yeah, if you've got any ideas or whatnot, um, post. I will post, um, I, I will paste spin up. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. I don't really want to. But I will post up the, uh, paste spin up the, um, the files, I'll even paste bin in the original script for the, um, for, uh, that turtle in the end, uh, cause it might work for you guys, I don't know, so you can only use one turtle instead of have and one portal instead of, instead of having to use three like I've been forced to do, it might not bug out for you guys, so the script should absolutely work, so, yeah. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, I'll catch you next time, cheers!